Guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it's DMG, and welcome back to World of Tanks Bloods. Today we have the pleasure of watching Sturban playing in the Tier 2 German Premium Light Tank. It is the PZ-38H. Now, I don't really know much about this tank. I haven't played Tier 2 um, in about 20,000, at least 20,000 battles. Um, I haven't touched low tiers. The reason being is that, you know, as I've tried to improve as a player, um, low tiers just don't offer the same style of gameplay. You know, there's lesser uh, experienced players there and, you know, it just becomes seal clubbing and then when you start playing you kind of get addicted to uh, playing these low tiers and then when you jump back into high tiers it's almost kind of like a shock and you you really feel just the difference in the gameplay from you know tier two to tier ten or tier two to tier nine or whatever have you. Now there's a bit of a dead space at the beginning of this game and Sturban is on Fort Despair. It's the typical low tiers. People are just kind of sitting there getting whatever shots that they can off. Um, you know, some people are still learning how to drive their tank properly and you can see all the light VICs um, in this game because this was uh, recorded around the Christmas event, I believe. That's the Winter Fair, the most recent Winter Fair, and the Light VIC was a Christmas gift that you could get for free, that was free for every player. And the thing with the Light VIC is once everyone receives their new Tier 2 Premium, they all want to play it. Every new player that plays Blitzer, every player that may not have a lot of tanks is, uh, is playing it. And you're going to start to see here that it this spamming of the light VIC is really going to start working out in Sturban's favor here. And the really only threat that he has to deal with is the cruiser in front of him. All the other light VICs are just bouncing off him, clip after clip. And like I said, I don't know much about the PZ-38H, but I think it this is the Micro Mouse, or is that the PZ-2J? I'm not really sure, but regardless, he is just receiving all these bounces, whether it be from the front side or the back of his tank, and they are not penetrating. So all Sturban has to do is just sit there and focus on the uh, cruiser in front of him, make sure that he doesn't uh, hit him. And he does, he takes him out of the game. So now it's just him going to town on these baby seals, and what can these people do? You see light VICs all around him just spamming their their clips out at him and they have so much ammo capacity. I think it's a thousand rounds total. So uh, what's Sturban gonna do here? Well he's just gonna sit here and let them bounce off of him. You know and this is partially why, why I don't play low tiers because you get these blatantly OP tanks like you know I, I didn't even notice this one but you know of course the PC-38H now from this replay as you see all these same tier tanks just bouncing off of Sturban's tank while Sturban just shoots them with impunity. But back to other OP tanks, you have tier 3s like the Kini Otsu that has tier 8 medium DPM or the Ice Claw, um, a, a tank destroyer that has ridiculous amounts of frontal armor, or the PZ-2J which apparently has ridiculous frontal armor as well. Um, just start getting all of these ridiculously OP tanks and then some other tanks are just kind of let out or not let out left out in the air to dry so all Sturban is doing here is you know, he's not even really shooting whatever's uh, close to him and I kind of think that's a mistake to be honest with you if he shot whatever was in front of him you know whatever's closest take out some of these uh, ones that are nearest to him maybe the one shots would would think that they have a chance and maybe try and flank him when he is not looking at them and then he could more easily polish them off and really I thought that kind of wasted a bunch of time if I were to have a criticism in this game and I do believe it will come back to haunt him. Now there's only two light VICs left and you know Sturban can just sit here and just shoot them easily it's it's not even really that fair for the light VIC and you know I don't, I don't think some of these players even understand hit skins yet I mean after Sturban completes this game regardless of whether it is a win or a loss I'm pretty sure he's gonna need to wash his hands after bathing in all this seal blood um, and now he types in the in the chat 
bow down to your God. And really, that's what, mu that's what it must seem like for some of these new players. You're just firing away at a tank, just doing absolutely nothing. You know, having just this exercise in futility. You know, how are you supposed to penetrate a tank and you don't even understand hit skins? You're not even really using the scope in button. You may not even see the hit skins because you're not even using the scope in button. And now Sturban is just trying to cap out now as the last light VIC will try and flank him. But most likely he doesn't understand spotting mechanics and even if he did, it would be a snowball's chance in hell trying to penetrate this tank from any angle. Sturban showing some nice reverse side scraping for what it's worth in this scenario. He could probably just drive flat on uh, with his side exposed and he would still bounce, but I think this is maybe coupled with the light VIC's poor penetration. So as I said before earlier in this match, it really is the perfect storm and you may not see uh, a game like this again. And he's just going to wait. And is, is this light VIC going to try and engage him? Well, no, he actually kind of plays it smart here and decides to wait around. Serban's going to sit in the cap. This is a spot that I like to use personally in the beginning when I go in certain heavy tanks um, that allow me to abuse that small wall right near me. So if you're here watching this for some sort of educational uh, content, note that this position right here is viable in higher tier matches and I thoroughly recommend using it. Oops, just dropped my pen. But the light tank is going to be conservative and play it out. Um, he's not going to push. So smart play by the light tank. The best that the light can do in the situation is play for a draw. Um, may, maybe these tanks didn't even know about premium ammunition. You know, there's there's just so much compounding factors that go into this skill gap in low tiers when you get a player that's playing in a rightfully overpowered premium tank and inexperienced players that just lack the skills and the basic knowledge to uh, win the game. So the game does end in a draw. Sturban doesn't get the cap out. Uh, he takes down a mastery for his effort. Uh, even though it could be argued as seal clubbing. In the end, about 43 shots only penetrate his tank while, what is it, 500 something bounce? So that just shows the armor capabilities of some of these low tier tanks. Um, but that's the game. Good job, Sturban. Uh, I really appreciate you sending me your subscriber replay as I do not play low tiers and I'm sure that there are viewers of my content that wished for more low tier gameplay and I think this is that was something that was quite hilarious and um, even though it lacked some of the educational content. Um, moreover, if you want me to commentate on your fantastic round or critique your gameplay and have it up on channel for me to tell you where something went wrong or where you could have done better please send your replays to me. I will provide a link in the description. So please check that out if you are interested. As always, if you enjoyed the content, slap that like button and subscribe for more. And if you disliked, please leave your constructive criticism in the comments. I do read them. And thank you for allowing me to share my passion with you today. And I will see you next time.